all right guys so in this video it's all about the test drive so um i will drive the car uh in the city on the highway and i hope you will enjoy the ride with the new peugeot 208 electric uh, i will try to talk a little bit less and also let you enjoy the the noise uh, of the engine if you hear something because the car is very silent and also from exterior you cannot hear so much noise so uh, it is a very silent car but I still let you enjoy this very nice digital cockpit the name of it it's i3d cockpit from Peugeot is the new one the new technology but yeah also right now we are in eco mode you have the three different driving modes eco mode normal mode and sport mode uh, we will drive in eco mode and also i will drive a little bit in sport mode i will show you an acceleration i will try to make an zero to 100 um, also the car it's doing a great job on the curves it has a very very good stability uh, in the front it has McPherson um, suspension in the back it has uh, some different new suspension made by French um, those are really linked to the body uh, and it helps the car not rolling too much uh, for example in the curves and yeah the handlings are much much better the suspension are also very very good and i'm quite impressed with the feeling for a small car like that you feel really comfortable here um, you really feel like you're in a premium car also the car comes with cruise control you can set the cruise control at 50 km right now I just set it to 50 and I don't have to accelerate or brake because the car have adaptive cruise control you can keep the distance uh, from the car in front also it has a camera up here and uh, it is very helpful um, when uh, we have speed limit for example here 50 the car can read also the speed limit you can see it on the cockpit right there the visibility on the cockpit it is just perfect i like it very much um, i like the visibility it's it's much better than on the uh, normal cars in my opinion because on the normal cars you have to see uh, between the steering wheel here but now you have you can see it directly and nothing stay uh, in front of you so for example right now you can see that the car really keep automatic between the lanes this is also a nice feature and I see that it's doing a pretty good job uh, by staying between the lanes also you can see if we go here on the application electric application you can see um, how much battery I still have left and also you can see uh, the way the car use the battery and use the, um, the energy for example if you brake or you slow down the the battery will be recharged so right now it's regenerate the battery some battery into the uh, car so that that's quite nice as always on the electric cars also you can go in b mode right now we are in drive mode so if you left the foot on the acceleration the car will will regenerate but not so strong it will regenerate a little bit less energy but if you are going to in B mode, press this button, put it in B mode. Right now we are in B mode, you can see there echo. And when I left the foot on the acceleration, you will see right now that the car regenerates much more energy. And it's kind of a brake, you know, you can use it as a brake. For example, right now in this situation right here, um, it is very useful because you don't have to press the brakes the brake discs will last longer uh, with this regenerate brake so this system it's much much better system than on the uh, normal IC cars also it's a very smooth drive I like very much the way it feels when you drive the car 
the climatic system it's work also pretty nice and pretty good you can control it from there you have a great navigation it has this new tom tom for example let me put a destination for you i just want to show you how it works so when you press the destination and then drive there for example you can see the navigation also right there on the cockpit and also here on the side so it's it's quite impressive it looks really nice the navigation right there in the front also you can see again the regenerate uh, brake and the regenerate battery right there it's quite interesting the way it looks uh, also if you want from here from the sting you can also customize the driving style you can go and drive right now and you can customize you can see the adaptive cruise control right there on the screen you can go to dials you can see the dials right now and you can see the speed directly right there in the middle also this is looking really nice then you can go to energy this is one of my favorite screen so you can have that energy right there in the middle right there in the front the same as on the multimedia system so you can see also when you regenerate some energy back into the battery you can see it without any problem right there the seats are also amazing the car come with those great seats they are very comfortable it, it, it feels really good uh, sitting on them it's really comfortable also you can set the speed here and the car also help you keep in lane you can see right now it keep in lane pretty well here I'm a little bit afraid because it's some construction but it's wow it's really impressive right now it's off but it's great that it is able to read also um, the lane on the highway is doing a better job also we will see it in the second we will go out there on the highway and then there you can see a little bit better um, the lane assist the way it works because it's work really good also the car come with uh, auto dimming on the high bin so to not blind the other traffic participants it's very useful also here guys if we go in sport mode let me go in sport mode it's nobody nobody be, nobody behind me i will try to make a 0 to 100 acceleration it's no one behind here it's 100 so little bit of slippering and it's 100 so here we are able to drive 100 so it's no problem at all also I set I will set now the speed to 98 for example and then we leave the car rolling to I put it back to to um, autopilot so kind of autopilot and then you can see the car keep in lane here without any problem that's quite nice now it says give me a warning put the hand on the steering wheel and if you and right now again and then you have to hold it a little bit here and then again um, the warning it's go off now let me go on the link side also the car come with the blind spot technology 120 speed right here let's see the consumption I think you're curious to see what is the consumption until now we have 19.2 kilowatt hour consumption um, I drive the car in the last days and I have to tell you guys the car doing a great job with the consumption and with um, on the highway also on the city and all kind of all kind of all type of roads I drive it and it's doing a great job it's it's really pleasant ride to be inside this uh, 208 also you can see the blind spot technology right there in the mirror the mirrors are really big you have a great visibility even here in the middle on the side in terms of visibility this is uh, this is just perfect I mean you don't have to worry at all uh, about the visibility also when you need the power to go in 
you have the power to pass by and I'm not in sport mode let me go back in sport mode so I can show you for example right now I accelerate and I have 120 kilometer and it, it's drive without any problem maybe you hear a little bit of noise from outside but it's barely noticeable so you don't have to worry in terms of noise the car is doing a great job and even at 120 kilometer you still have that punch for example press the acceleration and you can see you feel that punch you feel that power so that's that's impressive that's something that I like to see um, and it's so smooth I mean it's much better than and I, I will never go back to IC cars I mean after you drive an electric car you will never go back and this Peugeot is doing a fantastic job um, that's the true let me close this the true is that um, they did a great car they managed to do a great great car cruise control activate the cruise control very simple here behind the steering wheel you have a wheel where you can control it you learn it really fast I think in one day you learn how to drive this car and it is such a pleasure to drive it uh, by the way as a warning for you guys if you drive at high speeds for example I drive 120 right now you have to pay you have to to be pay attention that the battery will 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 um, how you say the battery will be gone faster you can see the consumption is going up 90.9 it's, it's the same consumption it's overall the consumption it's very very the same as the Tesla Model 3 as you know I own a Tesla Model 3 and I test this car for the last few days I have it go to work go home and to be honest um, the consumption it's very similar with the consumption on the Tesla Model 3 and as you know Tesla Model 3 has one of the best consumption and even at high speeds you know I drive at 120 with Tesla Model 3 and the consumption it's also uh, over 20 24 maybe 22 uh, kilowatt hour sometimes less and more and I'm really curious and I see right now that the consumption until now it's, it's quite good quite similar with the Tesla model uh, 3 now we will have 120 so we break a little bit and right now it's regenerate the battery back and you can see there on the image on the display so right here we, we set the cruise control again 103 and it's, it's working like a charm I like also very much how easy it is to see the cockpit right there I mean it is very easy to see it's very easy to have your eyes on the road and in the same time you just look a little bit down a little bit up and when you need to see the speed you go down you go up from this point of view uh, I like much more than on the Tesla Model 3 on the Tesla Model 3 you always have to look on the right side but here on this 208 you have the perfect visibility uh, right there on the cockpit so from this point of view I think it's it's one of the best system and it's one of the best uh, array to be honest this is perfectly array right there on your uh, point of view so that's that's really good also but maybe I will leave it with the consumption so you can see the consumption there at the end of the trip you will have the consumption right there in front of you so you can check it out without any problem also if I'm not wrong right now we are in sport mode I will go in echo mode also the acceleration you already see it right now we go uphill that's why the consumption go a little bit up and then we will go downhill and we will see uh, where it will be where will be the average consumption uh, where will the consumption will stabilize because on my model 3 it will stabilize around uh, 17 kilowatt 60 17 kilowatt hour and I want to see also after the downhill a little bit forward which which will be the consumption and I'm really curious about that so uh, we will see when we go downhill there will be really interesting to see that 
also you can take control right here we are in b mode right now i like the fact that i can take off the b mode right now i i, I want to let it a little bit rolling when you go downhill i recommend you when you drive electric cars to let it roll this is not so much possible on the model 3 also here you have to leave it more like rolling rolling and regenerate you can see right now it's regenerate a lot of energy back into the battery you can see it right there on the downhill it's only on the green but it's such a pleasure to, to be in this car I have so much space here it's so comfortable being on those seats and you can see all the downhill until down there it will regenerate energy and in the left side there is a 154 kilometer range left this is something that the car um, anticipate you can still drive with this consumption but I'm sure it will be a little bit more maybe when we go downhill not sure we will see right now but let me go on the yes right now it's 158 as I said before so we have a little bit better consumption right now a oh, better consumption here and also better range down there uh, right now it will stabilize a little bit so also the navigation it show you very nice for example right here it show you very nice where you should go so it tell you the lanes it's so easy to, to understand you can never go wrong with this navigation system so that's why I said it's one of the best but I will not go in there because I don't need to go there I need to go in this side but still uh, I just want to turn it on to show you the way it looks and it is just just perfect it's working like a charm it's, it's just the perfect car to go uh, work go home and work go in also in the holiday it's so silent it's so so cool and also the price it's great forty thousand dollars GT version the, the full premium version the most expensive version of this 208 electric it's forty thousand you have a 15 kilowatt hour battery uh, 136 horsepower and um, yeah you can charge the car at 100 kilowatt hour in 40 minutes full you can charge it at uh, 50 kilowatt hour in uh, two three hours or you can charge at 11 kilowatt hour in in maybe three four four hours I think and you can charge it also at home in 17 hours at a normal socket so you can charge it without any problem also AC DC it has the charging capabilities at high speeds so you will don't have to worry about the charging also at high speed i'm driving on the highway most of the time now uh, on this trip and it's super comfy even for the highway you have enough power uh, you feel like this 136 horsepower is more than enough for the car you can have some fun with the car as well if, for example if you go in sport mode yes i'm in sport mode and you can you can floor it and you can see you still feel a little bit of punchy there it has that punchy you can see again again you have that punchy and and it, it feels really really smooth and really nice also the car have a traction in the front by the way so the front part it's it's with the traction uh, there it's also the electric motor and also ah, by the way let me put again the navigation so you can see it it's quite nice that you are able to customize there uh, the cockpit in many ways and it has a super nice graphic and look at this with navigation look how nice it show you that graphics there the resolution the colors it's phenomenal it show you here and it show you also there and you have this 3d cockpit i 3d cockpit from Peugeot it's just whew, is perfect is the way you should go I mean no other car on the market have a 3d cockpit until now if I'm not wrong this is the first one and who they do it a great job and I think if they will go on this way Peugeot will win the market for sure and I think and I want to see more of those uh, Peugeot 208 electric on the on the streets because they are so beautiful it's a beautiful car even for men and women and it's so easy to drive it's perfect for da daily use for daily use for working at home you have an electric very economical car and it's just the way it should be 
also here it tell me to go out I will also go out here because I have to go out but the way the cockpit work and all that uh, view there the view is, is just phenomenal I mean it's beautiful one of the best cockpit on the market today in my opinion and it's very well positioned right there we go out now we are almost at the end of the trip guys also a little bit later in this video I will I will park the car of course I will go to work and after the work because I want to show you like a daily use of the car I drive 30 km until work uh, a little bit in the city as you will see a little bit uh, on the highway it's kind of a mix more on the highway and I want to show you that I do 30 km to work 30 km back 60 km every day and I charge it home or I charge it at the public station uh, or I charge it in some space places where you have charging like a shop and you are able to drive every day 340 kilometer range maybe real 300 maybe in the winter a little bit less but it's still plenty of range to daily use and to go also in in holiday on the trips if you plan very well you have to plan it really really well before you go not only this 209 but also a tesla or all other electric cars you have to plan it um, a little bit before the trip and then it's it's great there are a lot of charging stations these days almost everywhere uh, you can go on the application on, on the mobile phone and you can check it out there are so many applications with the charging stations and there you can see it also the car has electronic handbrake charges uh, wireless charging here and i have a, a samsung s10 plus it's a big phone and you have place for, uh, still place plenty of space for the big phones to charge it wireless you have usb-c usb uh, normal right there look how silent look how easy it is to drive it in the city i'm first i can even go there on the light the other cars are way behind me and I didn't accelerate, I just start normally and they are 20-30 meters behind me. So, so easy. Also the bumps here, it is comfortable. I don't know, I see the review on the internet. The car wow, Matt Watson made the review and he says it has stiffer suspension on the front. But I don't feel that, I don't know why he said that. I, I really don't understand because the suspension doesn't feel as stiff as on the Tesla Model 3 and I own the Tesla Model 3 and um, Tesla Model 3 really has those stiffer suspension but this one doesn't have it so from this point of view it is just um, just better as Tesla Model 3 now we are almost there and also I will try to go in a place where you can charge the car so uh, after all I will leave it charge it and after work I can go home um, but anyway that was the first part we'll continuing with second one Right, guys so I want to show you also in the night time a little bit the way it looks inside the cabin right here and to be honest the lights are phenomenal the car come with full LED lights and you have such a good visibility ahead and automatic dimming of course when it's no car in front of you you can see uh, the high beam as well I will show you a little bit later as we go uh, on the trip also you can see the ambient light the nice light behind the steering wheel you can see right here uh, a very nice white 
light behind uh, every single button and it looks really really good also the car come with auto steer it has here a button so it has kind of a level 2 auto steer you can see right now the car is steering itself you can see my hands and you can see it's a curve right here and you can see the green green uh, steering wheel right there on the on the cockpit and you can see right this moment the car is steering itself so it's amazing I mean it worked really good I tested in the last days and also as you can see today I tested and it works very very good uh, at speeds between 15 and maybe 120 kilometer it was working really really good and also here on the highway it's just very relaxing you can go home you can say in some circumstance uh, that it's it's really help you to relax when you go home from work for example right now you will see that this feature it's really relaxing also uh, right now I have the cruise control I will set it up to 103 kilometer and you can see 103 is doing also a great job forward so also it's warming it's warning send me a warning put my hand on the steering wheel I put it and then it's work forward without any problem also I want to show you this ambient light guys in the interior right here so if you go to the comfort right here inside the menu you go to colors you go to brightness you can adjust the brightness inside here and here you have eight colors you have the green this kind of the signature you have this color that was before you have a blue you have a white for example if you like white and then you have also this one right here uh, it's kind of a uh, pinky then you have this orange color if you like the orange inside I like that it's very relaxing this orange inside the car I find it really really relaxing it's give you uh, it's giving that relaxing feeling I don't know how to how to explain you uh, also you have a red if you like red so and then you have this pink pink color for girls maybe but this orange color I really like it I find it really relaxing and I will leave it like this in the nighttime it's just very very nice um, yeah now we are in the B mode so now the car regenerate a lot of energy when it goes when, when it goes uh, downhill or when I left the foot on the acceleration and right now the car drive itself I don't do nothing it's just drive itself pretty well so it's doing a great job I can say it's almost close to Tesla it's, it's not perfect it still have a lot of problem but uh, if I will say level 1 to 10 and for example Tesla it's at level um, 9 and this one it's at level 7 or something like that uh, if I have to make a comparison also I like very very much the mirrors the, the blind spot technology the visibility as I said before it is very good also I want to try it uh, I just want to show you this in the night a little bit uh, to see the way it looks also in the night time and yeah it's pretty doing a great job also at steering and at, at everything it's doing just a fantastic job as you see before you can change also the driving style the dials the energy flow now the navigation was on the screen and now if you choose the energy flow you can see it right there on the screen without any problem and it looks pretty fancy um, and it show you when it's regenerate energy it's go on the green on the blue it's kind of fancy also let me set a destination to see the navigation because the coolest part uh, on the car I find that the navigation it is and if you set a destination it's loading really fast and also you can see it right there on the screen it's super easy to change that those that that dials right here and then you can see right now the navigation and you can see this is my favorite screen you have all the information there in how many kilometers you have to go left or right you have the speed right there in front of you you have um, also the speed limit here we have 120 on the left side you can see how many kilometers you can still drive with the car so we have 142 kilometers range left 
and also I have 111 110 km per hour and it still feel really really smooth the, the ride it's very smooth and really relaxing to be honest I like how relaxing it is to drive the car it's, it's quite quite amazing to be honest I like it very much Also, the seats are so relaxing after a working day. You go home, it's so easy to, to park. I will show you also when I will park the car. It's super easy, it has that camera, it's just perfect. And this new system with the camera from Peugeot, it's just phenomenal. I think it's, it's one of the best. Also, you can hear now at 110 km per hour. That the car it's super silent also I'm sure you want to see the consumption on my trip until now so if I go here you can see the consumption right here on the screen I have 17.8 kilowatt hour it's not so bad I want to make a comparison because I do the same trip every day work home with uh, the model 3 and I want to see this 208 e208 what what it will have the consumption uh, when I will arrive home I'm, I'm really curious about that um, because I see that it's very similar with model 3 even at high speeds so I drive also at this kind of speeds with my model uh, model 3 and I'm really curious about that we will see in the end uh, what will be the consumption I'm, I'm I will also let you know at the end of the video Also, you have an LED light up here. I don't know if it's play any role if I turn it on. I will turn it on in the end when I will end up this video, but it's quite cool. And you can see if you turn on the lights, you can see how much light you have here in the front. It's amazing. The car have also a light down there on the legs. And also it has a light uh, on the roof here and also on the roof in the back. So you can see if I look in the back, how much light it comes here. It's super, a lot of light here in the car. This is also another system that I think it, they, they make it really good. Also the mirror up here, it's very fancy. It has a nice tiny edges and it looks really expensive. Um, I like it very much. Also, you have kind of a touch screen uh, light. I can say like that, LED light everywhere. You touch the light and then it will uh, dimming slowly and close slowly and you can still see the interior light of the car now. The visibility on the cockpit, it's more than perfect to be honest. I have a great visibility right there on the cockpit. Um, the steering wheel is down here and the cockpit is somewhere there and the visibility it is very very good. I like it uh, more in this way, I mean I think they are the, the, uni they, the only one car company that make the the steering wheel down here and you should be able to see the cockpit perfectly right there so you have an amazing amazing visibility I like I wish all the car manufacturers to do this kind of um, steering wheels and I'm I'm becoming a big fan I will miss this car when I will give it back um, when I will give it back next week I think I will miss this car a lot um, I don't feel you know, I, I, it's like I don't feel like I'm missing my Tesla Model 3 in this moment because I feel really comfortable in this car. I feel like this car do the same as the other that the Model 3 do. Maybe a few things. Uh, range, I wish it was a little bit different. Uh, as you can see right now, I have 130 km left. Uh, range, I wish it was a little bit different, but other than that, maybe the multimedia system, uh, they can improve it a little bit to make it a little bit more easy to, to use. I like very much the screen and the resolution and everything there work great, also the navigation, but I wish, to be honest, uh, that the system, you know, the application, the software, behind it to be a little bit more intuitive more easy to use and now you can see the the, the high beam also you can see the high beam when you turn it on it's super super visible you have such a good visibility there in the front guys 
I mean, I like it very, very much. Right now we have to drive 15 here and at low speeds in the city. Oh my God, this car, it's such a, such a pleasure to drive because it's a smaller car. It's a lighter car than Model 3. I feel like it's more agile, you know, it's not so rigid. That Model 3 it's a little bit more rigid, more heavy, more mm, sporty. And this one is more comfortable, more agile, more um, comfort, uh, more in this comfort uh, area. And I feel like um, like it's just perfect for, for those kind of roads. And also it's a small car, you can park it without any problem. Uh, I park it today at work um, in just no time. It's just a great, great car to drive and to to be in here you can see the consumption it's 60.8 right now the consumption go low uh, I should say with Tesla Model 3 I get some consumption lower as 12.4 uh, kilowatt hour consumption from my work to the home and now we can see also what will be the consumption with Peugeot 208 from work to home so you can make an idea now you can see the high bin I turn it on and off so you can see the low bin it's perfect you have a great visibility and when you turn on the high bin you have an amazing visibility all over the road so it's just just perfect I mean it is great here we have regenerate so I don't press any brake right now it's regenerate always regenerate brake so that's something to keep in mind have this car pass and we pass by also if you if you are able to regenerate the battery and to to anticipate the traffic you will get some amazing consumption I'm sure about that I don't know if I should drive to consumption or I should try a 0 to 100 kilometer I already tried before um, I don't know if it has any point to do that the car can do that in 8.1 seconds so it's not a super sporty car to be really interesting that but um, it's it's really interesting that the car have this torque you feel the torque when you are inside the car I mean the torque it's really really good you feel that punchy uh, speed in the in the seats when you accelerate I will try to, to accelerate a little bit and show you this as well right now after the speed limit will be off you can see the light right now you can see I punch it a little bit and you immediately feel a little bit of speed and right now we are in echo mode if I go in sport mode you will see that the car will be much more aggressive um, but I don't want to do that I, I really want to stick with the consumption because I'm really curious to see what what kind of consumption uh, it will be able to to take out right now we just ride and then you can set this the, the, the cruise control with the autopilot kind of autopilot I can say like that because I see the steering wheel it's still green and it keep the lane and it keep the car pretty well between the lanes that's really impressed me I mean it gets almost good as was Tesla before it stay between the lanes and this is amazing also the car come with emergency brake in case of someone come in front of you right now the car will brake also it comes with uh, all kind of safety technologies on it and that's that's quite impressive also you can see the auto dimming it's dimmed the, the, the lights down so uh, the car in front can still see you so it's pretty simple to activate autopilot you have a button right here in the left side so every time you press it it will activate or deactivate the um, this autopilot and that we have 15.9 kilowatt hour and I drive 30 kilometer by the way guys just keep in mind 30 kilometer go 30 kilometer come from work and home and no problem at all I still have 140 kilometer battery I still have 
um, two days battery to go work and home but I will probably char charge it tomorrow uh, or tonight I will put it at charge and tomorrow morning I will have another maybe 100 kilometer and another two days if I go to shop I will probably charge it there as well at the same time when I buy something so I don't even worry about that it's more than enough for my daily uh, driving so anyway um, yeah, we are almost at the end of this trip also you can see right now the high bin right here in the city uh, we are driving in the city a little bit and it's such a pleasant uh, also the suspension are super good even if as I said before I hear some uh, reviewers some some guys from from the press that they test the car that the suspension are stiffer because the car it's heavy and I don't know if it's, this is true uh, the car have Mer McPherson suspension in the front and I take a bump right now you don't even feel it in the back you have also special suspension from the French they make it to the French uh, I don't remember well the name of the suspension but they are really linked to the axle and to the body of the car there and it helps a lot uh, on the curves for example when on the handlings it doesn't bounce so much left and right uh, so those are really good and I feel really good for example if you go left and right you can see that the car doesn't bounce at all it stay really good on the road and even on the twisty road it's a fun really fun to drive this uh, new Peugeot 208 uh, electric also so easy to maneuver this steering wheel I mean it make your work so easy what is the point of driving a car what is the, the what is the um, the objective I mean what is the point of having a car of driving a car going home going work and help you with a lot of stuff like carrying stuff and things like that yes and I think this Peugeot 200 make this perfectly it's it's a car uh, where you can use it for daily driving uh, you can use it for holidays and it, it make your job easy it make your life easy being inside this car and you can see how easy is the steering wheel it's so easy to turn you have a great grip it has this GT steering wheel from Peugeot that it's just phenomenal and the cool fact is that Peugeot used this steering wheel also on the bigger brothers like 3008 2008 and it's so awesome to be able to control a big car SUV with a small steering wheel like this it's so nice it's like playing a game so what is the dream of the all kids when they play games car car games to have a small steering wheel or and now this is on the car on this Peugeot so I think it's a great um, great uh, idea to make steering wheels like that in this nice shape uh, also every day when I come home and park here I get I have a big bump so you can you can feel it and I was impressed when I parked the car first time here and I take this bump I noticed that the the, the, the bump it doesn't feel so hard as you feel it on the Tesla Model 3 so that mean that this Peugeot has a better suspension as the Model 3 have and of course because it is my car Tesla Model 3 uh, I should say uh, the real real reality is that um, yeah it's, it's much better in, in some parts of this car it's much better than Model 3 for example the seats are much better um, and the seats are really comfortable you can see I sit on them and I feel really really good here I fit pretty well on them the steering wheel it's nicer and it's better than on the Model 3 that's for sure I can say again also the cockpit it's amazing I like the the, the cockpit the 3d e 3d cockpit it's really good also um, I like the shape of the car it's beautiful the way it drive the way you can turn um it's it's awesome i mean for the for the uh city drive it's just perfect also the reverse camera it's awesome guys this was my uh test drive 
uh, with the new Peugeot 208 electric. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions, just ask me down below. I will answer to all of you. If you have question about the car, I'm really happy to answer you because I will test this car a few days now and will be will be great to to answer you and to give you some feedbacks about the car. If you are in the market for an electric car in this uh, class or if you are in the market for a car in this class i think this e208 it's more than perfect uh, and i really recommend you to buy an electric version and not the ic version so guys i hope you enjoyed the video um please subscribe to my channel check out my other uh, videos as well if you want to see the full review with this 208 check it out on my channel i have it there also i have a resume i will make a resume with the video uh, where you can see all my experience with the car uh, in all that week. So, hope you enjoy it. I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.